Hello guys and welcome to my quick spine work tour. So this is the current setup that I'm working on. It's still a whip though since I will put on some effects on it eventually. Thanks to the CMD studios for this cool art. So if you want cool art and animation for your video game, then go visit the CMD studios website. Link will be posted on the caption of this video. So let's start. So I'm going to show you the images that were used on this animation. So we have uh, separate parts, we have a head, some horns, big piece of its body, wings, eyes, and eyelids. So the next thing is the bone setup. So I'm going to show you the bone setup here. Okay, so what we're trying to achieve is an idle animation. That's why I created a special setup for the head. We have a head control that if we move around, we get the 3D-ness feel of it. It has also this uh, special connection to the horns because the horn bones are parented to the head control. That's why. If we move this head control bone, the horns also follow. You also have a body control that if we move it up and down, see, it stays into place. It's because we've used an IK constraint. IK constraints are these orange bullets. So if you look closely, it looks like an orange bullet. We used three. One, two, and three. IK constraints help me pin the images to the ground like so. So it stays into place. For the wing setup, it's uh, pretty simple. Just use two bones for it. Same goes to the other. Another control is the eyelids. So we can make this dragon close its eyes or blink. Last control is the mouth control. So if we move this up and down and around, it follows the bone. So I think we're ready to, uh, to see the idol. So here, we're going to uh, play this. look smooth let's try to remove the bone so we don't get distracted okay so as for this spine work tour I'm going to show you the uh, semi-final animation of this dragon so let's pause it take a look and here you go looks good does it Let's try viewing it with bones. Alright. Looks smooth. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this spine work tour. I hope you guys can stay tuned for more news and updates on my page. And um, stay tuned for mini tutorials, demos, live streams that can improve your setup skills for your spine animation.